everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Stacy and this is Astro. Thank you all so much for being here today. And in today's video, you're going to be seeing how I taught Astro how to clean up his toys and put it into his toy basket. Astro loves to take out all of his toys and spread them around the living room. It drives me nuts sometimes because I'm the one that has to pick up the toys and put them back into the basket. So I thought, hey, why not just teach Astro how to clean up after himself? I think it's been about two weeks since I started to introduce this command. Astro is very smart, but he has not perfected this command at all. And he still needs my help here and there to truly understand what I want from him. And that's okay because it takes time, it takes consistency, it takes practice for a dog to truly understand what you want. But he still makes mistakes here and there and that's okay because he's a dog and not a robot. Please make sure you're very understanding to your dog. These things can be difficult for them. I genuinely hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. It truly helps with the algorithm. I hope you enjoy, so let's get to it. Beasters. Did you defluff your toy again? Are you ready for training? Welcome to our clean up the toys training session. Please note that picking up and dropping the toy is a prerequisite to teaching your dog to clean up their toys. I point at them and say get your toy to help Astro understand today's training activity. I'll either hand feed his reward or I'll toss the treat away to add physical exercise into our training session. He gets to chase his treat and get his steps in. Throwing it away is like a reset button. If he comes back to me, we resume our training, but if he walks away from me, we take a break from training. I don't know if you could tell, but Astro was a wee bit distracted. It was about time for John, aka Dado, to come home from work. I swear Astro can tell time and he knows exactly when John will be coming home. And he's constantly staring at the door, waiting for John to walk through, but his motivation to eat the yummy treats brings his focus back into our training session. We've been working on this for about 10 minutes and I could tell that Astro was so over the training. You'd ask, how can I tell? I've learned that it's important to take breaks, which I clearly didn't do here. The session lasted for a total of 10 minutes. I honestly should have done three five minute training sessions with breaks in between. A short break of yes. tug could have made a world of a difference. So I decided to end it on a good note with a session of oh, you tug. Wanna play a little bit. We can take a little break and play. Take a little break and tug. Hey. Hey, drop. Good. Up. Spin. Good spin. Okay, get your toy. Yes. This is the one they sent you. To end our training session for the night, we played an intense game of tug. Honestly, it's so shocking how incredibly strong Astro is. He's not one to give up on a game of tug. Tug is a great way to tire out your dog, but make sure you're not too rough with them as they can injure their neck or spine. Most importantly, have fun with them.
Look how cute this shirt is. Yip, yip, appa. I have some very exciting news. A brand has reached out to me. This is not a sponsorship. They sent over a giant bag of treats for me to test out and post a little spiel about it on my channel. And these are the dog treats that I received. We're going to be testing these out today. In this training video, I'm going to be very honest about how I feel about these treats. As you can see, I did not open them up yet. I honestly don't know how Astro likes them. But Astro loves all types of treats. This is a single ingredient treat sourced from a single protein, and I'm assuming it's beef because they are bully bites. It's just so exciting that a brand reached out to me. This is just the beginning because we are still fairly small here on YouTube, but I honestly would not have gotten to this point where I get free treats without you all. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to post my love for dogs and my love for dog training on this platform. Come on, come on. I gotta investigate. Whoa, what is this? Yeah, this is for you, baby. Whoa. How does it smell? Whoa. They are massive. Oh, wow. This is what the treat's looking like. I honestly was not expecting this. It's kind of hard to break apart. Whoa. You wanna try it? Here's... As a sustainable person myself, I love that Grubterra has strong sustainable values. They reduce up to 20 pounds of food waste of every one pound of larvae sold, and they raise their larvae on sustainably sourced food waste. Originally, their products were meant for chickens and reptiles, but they recently added dog treats to their shop. These bully bites are freshly dried, made from high protein beef muscles with no artificial flavors or preservatives. Astro is waiting for DADO to come home, so he's constantly staring at the door and listening to every noise outside, thinking that it's him. <laughs> I love how they clean Astro's teeth as it scrapes the plaque away. I thought cutting the bully bite into smaller pieces would be easy, but man, was I wrong. It was quite difficult, so I decided to save my fingers and use scissors instead. Yet it was still difficult and pieces were flying all over the place. These treats are designed to be given as a whole and monitored while chewing, so that's what I will be doing from now on. Yummy? Say thank you, Grubterra, for sending me these yummy treats. It's the next day and we're ready for another training session. Here I am setting up while watching the Taylor Swift Eras movie, the extended version of course. Once I added the basket into the picture, Astro was very confused on what we were doing. He was sticking his head into the basket and taking toys out of it. He was pawing at the basket. Then out of nowhere, something clicked in that Aussie brain of his and he picked up a toy and placed it into my hand. It's so fun to watch the gears in his brain turn. When your dog can successfully pick up and give you the toy, it's time to introduce the basket. Keep in mind, I still did not add a command or phrase to this task just yet. When first introducing the basket, I will hover my hand over the basket because he's trained to bring the toy to my hand. Then I will say the word drop. After multiple repetitions, I will then remove my hand, but keep the command drop. Then after multiple successful drops in the basket without my hand hovering, I will remove the verbal cue drop. Then I will finally add the phrase clean toys. For our next cleanup training session, I will reward him for every few toys he cleans up. In this video, I rewarded him for every toy because I wanted him to truly understand exactly what I wanted from him. Look at me chilling while Astro cleans up the toys. How about that? Over there, get the toy. Drop. Yes, that was a good one, jackpot. Good job, come on, get the toy. 
This is the furthest toy that he had to travel for. I'm so happy that he didn't drop the toy on his way over and actually dropped it into the basket without having to say yes. the word. This is what oh. consistency and patience brings you. I rewarded him with a big jackpot of treats and of course, his favorite way to play tug. Good job. Ready? Yes! Good job, Bubba's. That was so good. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I genuinely hope you enjoyed. If you made it to the end of the video, you are truly amazing. Please comment your favorite emoji so that I know. We will see you next week. We love you so much. Bye!